What is going on guys, we're back with another video today, and we are doing another 10 year sim on Madden 19 Connected Franchise. It is of the Seahawks, if you're new to the series, basically what we do, we obviously go one by one through the years until season 10 is finished, we see what we can do, and it's not just simming and letting it happen, it's a little bit of a rebuild kinda, we uh, take a look at the team, we get one player every season user, uh, whether that be the draft, a trade, or through free agency, uh, and we basically go from there. Obviously, the AI can take whatever we don't, and uh, we're also allowed to kind of like, it's a little wishy-washy, but we usually take one or two players uh, if they have a really high contract and we just release them. We'll, we'll be allowed like one trade of just draft picks, but we never do, so I just, I don't worry about it. This team, you know, on paper, I don't know how the hell they did it last season. They actually did pretty damn well. Uh, considering on like their roster is really not super great, which kind of tells you that tells you that uh, it's not all about who you have; it's about how much you want it. I mean, obviously Madden is Madden, but even looking at Madden ratings, they're really not super great. E uh, you know, Eel, I almost called him Eel. <laughs> Earl Thomas, kind of getting up there in the age. He's 96 overall, though. 29 years of age, star dev. He could last another few years. Bobby Wagner, same with him. Uh, but some of the best players on this team are kind of aging. I don't even know if Russell Wilson's going to be here for the whole thing. You know, 39 years of age is quite a bit. But we'll see what can happen. Obviously, lots of things need to be done. Chris Carson, he's a bit of a higher overall than I thought he would be. He'll be here for a majority of this, assuming the team wants to keep him. But yeah, there's a lot of work to be done if we want to see a Super Bowl in this 10-year sim. And as expected, we missed the playoffs. But 7-9 and nine is so high of a record Russell Wilson kind of average numbers for him yardage is a little low but that's kind of the way Madden has been this season if he was normal dev before which I think he was that's got to be quick right there you go Chris Carson's well on his way obviously uh didn't really gain much XP not really too worried about anything else because of course we missed the playoffs I usually don't like to show it these videos are already long the way it is if you guys couldn't tell um these take well that's kind of weird but these take a bit of time to make, and they're actually, some of them can get up to, you know, depending on what rebuild team we're doing, can get longer than a rebuild. It's crazy to think, but they do. Uh, but we're going to finish every C. Oh, crap. We're going to finish every team. I completely forgot to turn off all of this. I'm, I'm into rebuild mode. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Stop yelling at me. So, of course, I'm going to have to resign these guys because I just don't know if the AI will do it. So, Frank Clark, obviously, he almost always gets resigned. Let's get him that deal. He's not interested. Yikes. I'm just going to let him hit free agency. We're going to sign him back. We'll allow it. Uh, Earl Thomas, quick dev, but he's going to get the contract. Ooh, what are we doing here? I'm going to tag him because obviously he's going to cost a lot anyways. A lot of these guys do get let go. Like Justin Coleman usually... Well, he doesn't usually get re-signed, but sometimes re-signs. I can't believe this team. Nobody wants to come back, which is crazy. We got Fluger back, Justin Coleman... Uh, Earl Thomas, we're going to pay Clark in free agency. Hopefully he doesn't get taken by the Dolphins or Redskins. That's about it, though. I think think everyone else, you know, Michael Kendricks almost always gets let go. And if he gets let go, I don't know why you would ever keep KJ Wright. Clark's obviously our guy. You bastards. They actually took Frank Clark off of us. We've actually been robbed. I can't, I can't believe we actually just got robbed so hard like that. They're paying him actually like a ton of money too. I'm just going to overpay the hell out of him. I'm going to adjust the contract later. Uh, it's not really like my fault. It's just I didn't think the game would suck like that. But it apparently does. Our record was a little iffy, but I don't like year one free agency very much. Unless you guys want to see me go for uh, Trevor Williams every single time. So we're going to head to the draft. We're going to do that thing. Like I said, I got to adjust Frank Clark real quick. I know he's going to accept that deal. All right, start the draft time. What do we have? Pick 10. Okay, we actually have a lot higher of a pick than I thought. 7 to 9, you usually don't get that. I'd say the biggest need is probably pass rusher. Wide receiver's up there too because of Doug being an old fella. But I'm really just interested in best available. That's kind of all you can do when you're doing these 10-year sims. At least that's what I've learned. Tight end could be nice for this team too. This team's very desperate for tight end. Well, they're not desperate for tight end. They just haven't had a good one in a while. I hope it's not a bit of a reach. It is a reach, but if he's good, it's not. Ugh, normal, Debbie. 77 overall. He's a lot slower than I thought. Finesse moves good. 
really what got me was the, the age and he was kind of fast. I don't know how a four six seven is 81 speed. That seems a little low to be honest. Oh well, this is like a 10 year sim thing and it's a good thing because um completely forgot about uh coverage linebacker. Hopefully the AI didn't. And it appears they may have as well. Deontay Batten. Uh, good speed. Really good jumping, which is kind of rare from uh, the AI. Great traits. 22. What was he? Quick dev? I guess he'll be our number three, to be honest. Left end stammer. Forest stammer. It's okay strength. He's not the worst player in the world. We'll see what he can do at DT. Probably not much, but... I think he might be good enough to start, honestly. He, he very well could be. This has been a very bad draft for us, though. We didn't have a second-round pick. Pick 10, what was there? I mean, I know there was a safety, and I almost I almost went with it, but the thing, the reason why I didn't... Oh, that would have been a nice pick. Star Dev 21, he'd be here for the rest of the thing. But the reason why I didn't choose a safety is because safety is one of the easiest positions to get in this, team, in this, uh, in this game. This is the guy, obviously, I was going to go with. Uh, Quick Dev, he's a very good player, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know, I just don't think you need a safety as much as, you know, the the pass rush position. Good tight end, the Texans desperately needed one. Uh, great tight end, the Cowboys always land a great one. That guy was so beastly big. Obviously, looking at this, it could have been much worse. So, I'm not going to be too mad about what we got. He's got a lot of potential. Definitely a lot of potential, and he's obviously a day one starter. The AI did bring back Michael Kendricks, and then Mingo is now the starter. Uh, who the hell is this guy? Puna. The, the D end is almost just as good as him. Let's take a look at what he is like at DT. He's almost the same. Put him in. I don't care. Cam Chancellor is back. What the hell? So we missed the playoffs again. It's a process. We understand that. MVP Mahomes. 7-9 exactly again. Passing touchdowns were really down. Wow. The touchdowns in general were just terrible. Chris Carson surprisingly stays at Dev. Batten, uh, he got involved a little bit. It doesn't appear that he really did much, though. This offensive scheme might just not be built to win, honestly, at least in Madden. It just doesn't work this way in Madden, so it might have to might have to adjust that. Not really liking the direction. Obviously, we you know we could have done a little bit better in the draft and all that, but I feel like we still probably should have done a little bit better with Russell and some of the decent receiving options that are here. Steelers win the Super Bowl over the Saints. So looking at this team, one of the biggest needs, obviously, kind of always has been the offensive line, but what team doesn't need offensive linemen? So we'll pay attention to that. Michael Kendricks is still here. Cam Chancellor dropped five overalls, but he is still here. Cornerbacks, I think, is one of the okay positions. DeBose went up three overalls, which isn't bad as a normal dev. Stammer went up one, which is kind of rough. I know he was normal dev as well. But actually, DeBose might have been quick. I can't even remember, to be honest. Uh, Shaquem is apparently a starter. 30 mil on the nose. What can we get for that? Amari Cooper is here. That could be a huge name. You almost never see him in here. Uh, Amari would be big. Jatavis would be kind of big too. But I mean, if you're going to spend a pick on one of these positions, it's got to be Amari. And honestly, I think we will pay him. I think he's worth the money. Wide receiver is a huge need. Doug Baldwin won't last very long. I'm going to go five years. I think Amari will last that long. Uh, if we can get him, though, I don't know. It's going to be hard. It's kind of expensive, too, in fairness, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Amari did accept, so there's our yearly uh, addition. So we traded pick 43 in Baldwin to move up to 28. Obviously, these picks aren't going to be used by me, but it is what it is. Doug was getting a little expensive, and uh, he was kind of running his course on the team. Let's see what we get. We land a very fast safety. Quick dev, six foot tall, 22 years of age. Could play McCorner if you really want him to. Very fast. Wow, that might be one of the fastest safeties I've ever seen. 94 speed out of the draft. Jordan Austin, a cornerback. Kind of a slot corner. Not really a good pick. Third round pick, Wilhelm. Or Wilhelm, actually. I, didn't even, I thought there was an eye in there. Uh, not a bad player, I suppose. Uh, in the third round, not really going to get much better. Harvey Friedman. Yeah, these, uh, these draft picks have been kind of rough. So we had pick 11. What could we have had instead? Uh, Dawson Harrion. Good. Uh, okay, I guess that's all we're going to see. <laughs> Never mind. Here we are heads to the playoffs. Have we put together a good enough team? We have not. I forgot we actually got Amari Cooper, by the way. 
Uh, record is seven. How many seven and nines we gonna do? Jesus. Um, who the hell were our rookies again? Was it all defense? Okay, so Burns is looking uh, quite good. Burns went up in dev. He went up in speed. I mean, how much faster do you really need to go, mate? You're already a beast. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. 7-9 every season, huh? Russell Wilson, a little bit better. Uh, Chris Carson, that might be a dev drop. To be fair, he, he does feel fair that he would keep his dev there, like instead of going up or down. Murray Cooper goes back up to start dev. All right, so it appears that the signing was worth it because I didn't even change the scheme either. So uh, he actually did pretty well. Oh, my Lord, where the hell is the pass rush? Mingo's a linebacker. He didn't even start. I wonder if the drafts have just been bad. Like, because, I mean, the safety was a good pick, but pick 28 from the Bears. Cowboys win a Super Bowl. I mean, it was, it was better than having the second round pick and spending money on Doug, who wasn't really going to play. But at the same time, it really, we probably didn't get, I mean, we already had that corner. Didn't even need him. We got Justin Coleman, who probably is on the older side, in fairness. But, yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Trey Burns, or whatever the hell his damn name is, is basically almost better than Earl already. Linebacker is a huge knee. This team has lots of holes. And I want to fill him, baby. Marlon Humphrey. What the hell? Okay, so that's a name that I don't very often see. To be honest, it's a name I almost never see. And the question is, people that are watching, is he worth it? The main reason why I say is he worth it is because there's a couple of interesting names here. One of them being Injoku, who is a 98... He's not a 98. That's the, the points the Jags are offering. It's a start of 88 plus overall tight end. He's 25. Marlon Humphrey's good. But is a is, is he worth it? Is he really better? Corner is in a big need for us. Man, this is tough because tight end is really hard. I'm going to offer on both. And if we get both, we'll just not have a player next year. I think that's perfectly fine. I think that's a smart decision. Because I think... Both of them are equally, equally good. 10 mil a year is a little pricey, though. I must say. He's a great player, and he's primed to be a beast, but that is a little expensive. We'll see how much Marlon is, in fairness. If he's if he's too much, I won't do it. Because, one, once again, you gotta, you know, I've been doing these for a little bit this season. And, you know, not a 19 season. Corner and safety, not really that hard to get. It really isn't. I mean, they just kind of show up later on. And, you know, it sucks because you kind of have to offer, like, everyone plus 10 overall on the trade or on the free agency. So, what? That makes no sense to me. So, we upped 15 to Njoku, and Marlon was only, like, 9. I did not think that was going to be the case. If my brain thinkings would have been correct, I would have had none of them. I mean, okay, Marlon's great, but I really wanted the tight end. Either way, we got a new great player, so let's move on. Draft recap. Uh, we won the DT, pick 11. We always have pick 11. Don't worry about it. Wow, he's really strong. Um, pretty decently fast, actually, for a guy his size. Uh, not bad at all. That's, that's a pretty decent player. Second round pick, Mike Melton. Ooh, 21. Oh my God. He's slow as hell, but I like him. Uh, just cause he's, you know, he's 21. So he'll last forever. Uh, Coleco. We definitely need to start upgrading the, uh, offensive line. That's a start, I suppose. Uh, pick 11. We took a DT. What was there? Was there any better DTs? If there was, I'd be kind of mad. Wow, that guy's really slow. Linebacker is probably the biggest need, though, that we have. Blake Zimmerman. Uh, Peters. Parker Peters. Okay, EA, I see how it is. Uh, he's not really a coverage guy, but then again, it's the guy we got really much of a coverage guy himself. Trovon Austin, 24. I don't like it. I don't like it. You're 24. I know our guy's like 23, but I don't care. How the hell do they get this guy that late? The Browns cheesing again. Yeah, but next year, you got to go O-line. I guess to be fair, you do got to go O-line too. Linebacker O-line should be alternating between the two every single round. Uh, tight end obviously is a big need now. Considering we didn't get the guy, Coleco's already a starter. Melton's already a starter. I mean, we're on our way, I suppose. Plus two acceleration. 
in one upgrade. I guess you can't really prove that, but that's a pretty good upgrade. And uh, we're here, 10 and 6. The reaction wasn't really, like, surprise, so I'm going to have to show you guys who didn't cheat. Uh, I didn't change the scheme yet either, and I keep forgetting to do so. Uh, let's see how we did, though. Talk early, another MVP season. Two of them so far, I think. Russell Wilson limiting his interceptions nicely. We had a lot of touchdowns on the season. I know it didn't really go to the playmakers necessarily, but uh, Rashard Penny. Uh, Rashad, I keep calling him Rashard. Uh, made a very nice way of himself this season. Uh, we need a new tight end. Amari Cooper, that's a quick dev. Yeah, it's all right, though. Uh, defensively, any crazy numbers? We actually finally get to look at our team. Uh, sack totals... Really not doing super well there. Burns, though, he's been uh, doing pretty well. Star Dev, 89 overall. He's gotten even faster. I don't understand how that happens. Maybe it's just these videos, but in the Chargers League, I almost never get upgrades that I deserve, so it's kind of unfortunate. Like, guys like that will get speed upgrades, and I won't get a... Ugh. Lost by 21 to the Cowboys in the playoffs. Guys like that will get, like, a speed upgrade, two Excel upgrades for me. But I'll get a guy that's like 89 speed at wide receiver and he'll be stuck there for ages. Um, so let's advance one week just to see exactly who we keep. Like, you never know. Russell Wilson could be gone. Uh, he is not, thankfully. Uh, Tyler Lockett, he's an 88 overall. He's he's normal, Dev. He's kind of reaching that end of his career here. New tight end. Disley was an upgrade. Now we're stuck without Disley. We are screwed. Uh, so cornerback's perfectly fine. DB, DB in general is easily the strongest position core we have uh nine mil to work with dj moore all oh, lads dj moore is cheap what the hell are they doing so we're oh boys this is tough this is a really good man i don't know what's happening but some of these teams are really letting go of some great players obviously it's between dj and layton the problem i have is a layton wants a seven year deal which we probably can't even afford and B, DJ Moore is asking for a really fair offer. Can I afford this? Oh, God. He's not asking for a fair offer. I'm so confused here. He's asking for a five-year, $90 million deal. It's misleading because the Steelers aren't offering him a whole lot of money, but he is asking for quite a bit of money. Lane Van Der Esch is only quick dev, but he's absolutely insane. I think we're going to have to give him the deal. It really is a lot of money because basically it seems like the game kind of just lumps all the outside linebackers together. So basically we're paying him top edge rush money even though he's a coverage linebacker. Which don't get me wrong, it's an important position. But it is a linebacker of coverage. So I'm just all I'm going to say. Uh, I might put late in that middle just because we need... You know, if we're going to spend this kind of money on a guy, we need him to play like every down. All right, what do we got? So we had picked 23... Anthony Re Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. He's only a 74 overall. However, he has star dev. So, that's probably one of the best tight ends I've ever seen the AI draft for a team. Not a bad. Oh, wow. 23rd. That was a really good pick for the guard. Uh, linebacker Kruger. Great coverage stats. A little slow. Could start over uh, Shaquille or Shaquem anyways. We'll see. Ladler, I sadly, will probably be a starter. I think he probably could beat that tight end, but I don't think he could beat that tight end with another tight end. I would say even though he's not a super great overall, that dev makes him probably the best tight end in the class. Uh, 78 overall. This guy's big, but he's, he's just a blocker, uh, which is really weird. Like, I don't know how high a guy like that would really go in the draft. Like, you see a lot of guys that are uh, big... And beat like a guy like that, and he won't even go to like round five sometimes, uh, unless he's actually really talented. So a guy that can only block, don't know how much value that really provides nowadays. But I'm happy with the choices, uh, and hopefully that'll make us a pretty damn good team. Let's take a look. Are we in the playoffs? We are not. Eight and eight is not very great. Russell over four thousand yards, thirty-four touchdowns. Rushing was rough. Receiving. Mari Cooper was very solid. Gets back to that star status, which I like to see. Tight end. Looking pretty good. Batten. What's the dev there? Quick. Nice. Love it. Vandrash at middle linebacker. Got 10 sacks. All right. Well, it's not exactly what, you're, what we're paying you for, but if that is what it is, that's what it be. 
Super Bowl winner is the Falcons by one. That would be a nice Super Bowl to see, to be fair. 25-24. 34 mil to work with. Lockett obviously dropping down. Cooper dropping down. Reese, not very super great. I don't even know what words I just said, but I did. Only two upgrades uh, from star dev. Kind of rough, man. Uh, Wagner, potentially his last season. Earl Thomas said, I'll beat you to it, buddy. Uh, we lose Frank Clark. Yeah, the team is getting worse, which I like to see. I love it. And then we also have this garbage pit of a free agency period. Uh, this guy's very good in, in fairness, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Please be terrible. Just, just be the worst player ever. Okay, he's not very good. Oh, here we go. Another tight end. Warren Goldberg obviously doesn't matter because the, the Redskins are basically guaranteed that guy. Frank Clark hit free agency, 87 overall. Uh, I kinda, honestly don't blame them. I don't. But in the past, I have allowed us to re-sign them or go for a position equal to that. Uh, however, I don't think there's going to be a guy like that here, and I might have to draft. I found a bit of a steal. I don't know if this guy going to make a great piece at safety but this guy is what i like to consider myself an extreme steal and i'm overpaying him it wasn't a am going to overpay him kind of thing it was like literally i'm overpaying him and he's still like super cheap so i'm gonna go for him uh i'm not gonna count that as my move because we lost uh frank clark who is definitely signable so i'm gonna go with and i'm gonna allow myself another move uh, in the draft do you pass up best available oh that guy's really good, too. Man, these are actually some decent players. I don't know if the AI is just sucking. I got to go with this wide receiver, though. I think uh, it's a big need, and let's go for him. Quick dev. A lot better than I thought he'd be. 78 overall. Oh, my God. He's slow. A 4-5-4 a four, four isn't that slow, is it? Taking a look at the draft. Oh, my God. Look at the talent. Tyrone Roberts. He's terrible. Middle linebacker, Joey Cross. Not terrible, but I don't think he's going to be any uh, value for us here. Cummings, love the name, so I'm going to allow it. But yeah, that was a pretty bad draft, I, I must say. Hopefully, uh, that linebacker we could have had isn't going to be much better. He was a white dude. He was a left outside linebacker, I believe. He fell all the way there. Holy crap. Oh my god, how did he fall so far? Why did I not take you? But like I said... Uh, 40 times are stupid in this game because this guy to 459, he ran an 88 speed. Our guy ran not an 88 speed. I know acceleration plays into it as well, but I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I, I think they just they just slap numbers up and they're they're kind of close, but they're not super uh, accurate. I knew I should have went with a linebacker, but I looked at right now needs. We need to replace Lockett, like, this season. While Melton is good enough to start, and then, of course, Wagner, he can play at least another season, maybe two. Uh, pass rush is a huge issue. I'm going to take, first of, first of all, was his name Kelly? This is the guy, right? Yeah, let's take a look at free safety. He's got to be good, right? I mean, he's great zone. He's an 83 overall. That's, that's pretty damn good. Definitely worth the money. So you guys may have noticed what I noticed, which is the fact that we, uh... Don't have a pass rusher. All right, here we are. Season 7, I believe. 11-5. All right. I'll take that. We get to finally look at the stats for once. Russell Wilson, my man. 5,000 yards, 38 touchdowns, 10 picks. I would assume after the season, he probably went down to like normal or quick, so he might be quicker to star. Really? He kept dev all that? I guess to be fair, maybe it's the scheme. I'm surprised, honestly. A little shocked that he's still decent. Chris Carson... Yeah, my man, my man needs to be replaced. He's good, but Jesus, it's it's probably over for him. Superstar Dev, Amari. I guess that makes sense, actually. I don't know why I'm shocked. Batten, Dev up. It is a Dev up, my man. How old is he? Man, he's only 26. I like it. Uh, Reese, is that a star? A superstar, okay. He was already star. Uh, he's playing pretty well, honestly. Normal Dev, yeah, Lockett's done. Uh, we went with a wide receiver that we just didn't use, did we? Nicholas Hampton, quick dev. I mean, he's he's primed for the future, in fairness, but yeah, we probably should use him a little bit more this season. Uh, Trent Williams, okay. He didn't really play that well for us. They must have just signed him in free agency. Uh, well, unless he was there the whole time, I just didn't notice. I don't think he was, though. 
Good stuff. I don't think we would have had any rookie awards, so there's no point. XP. Uh, we pretty much have everything for players, so... Uh, I guess, yeah, actually running back is huge, because we're probably going to get a new one soon. All right, boys. It's time. 89 overall. What's our offense? 85. Yikes. That's. I mean, that, to be fair, it's easier to get offense than it is defense, in my opinion. And we still can't win. It was a close one this time, at least. We lost by three. But yeah, so far, this has not gone super well. I thought it wouldn't, in fairness. Browns killed the Rams this time. Holy crap. Uh, because there's a lot of holes that are kind of hard to fill in Madden. <laughs> hard fill holes. Fill. What? Phil, what are you doing? This could go pretty well for us, though. The offense uh, piece is looking nice. I don't know what Lockett's money is like. Hopefully, it's it's kind of like a see you later for free. Damn it. It's not a see you later for free. Uh, Reese, he's starting to become a beast, though. Uh, 25. Damn, he started a little old. Offensive line still an issue. It is what it is. Uh, defense, linebackers, obviously an issue. Pass rush is the main stay. Oh, I freaking hell. I forgot that <laughs> we have to sim another week, so I don't even know. Okay, so it's not that bad, though. It's We didn't really lose much. We lost the left guard. Defense uh, is pretty much exactly the same. So we're going to need a pass rusher and then offensive line. Hopefully, oh, Jesus, Vaughn. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully, there's a pass rusher here. Offensive lineman, Oeka 4. I know it's probably Oka 4, but Okea 4 is how it's actually spelled. Harry, and this is one of the guys we, were, we almost drafted, but yeah. I'm kind of glad we did it, in fairness. Linebacker's a big issue for us, but I don't know who the hell I should go for. Like, I really just want a, a pass rusher. Made the playoffs even though we missed uh, winning any of the games. I'm just wishing somebody would just, like, be there that isn't getting offers. Like, even if they're kind of bad. Oh. So, I offered on this left guard. He's 25 years of age. Quick dev. He's pretty decent. Hopefully, we'll get him. It costed us a little bit of money, though, assuming we do even get him. Maybe I should have went with someone else. Slade. Uh, I'm hoping there's a lot of guys that are expensive because... The team money is a little low here, and we don't really have that many, like, great players. How much money? So, Russell got re-signed, but a lot cheaper. Oh, my God, Amari. You're insane, but Jesus, you're expensive. And there's really not a whole lot of guys here that you can really just replace. Melton, what did he start off? You feel like he's been on the team for ages, man. 24? It's a beast. That's why you got to get them young guys, especially for this series. All right, draft recap. What do they get? Uh, pass rusher. Actually, that's I completely forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, not super great. Kind of like the guy we have now, though. So, I don't know if we have enough time to really get that going, like, for him. But, still, it's worth it. Uh, a couple of offensive linemen that just won't start. Uh, a decent running back. Eh, it's not good enough to start either, though. Uh, this guy's not bad. Like, the, in a user league, this would actually be a bit of a steal. Super fast. Great traits. Uh, finesse move, decent. Block shed, decent. Coverage sets aren't even that bad. That would be a huge steal in a user league. But obviously, this isn't a user league, so it's trash. Sorry for yelling at you. But I'm getting pissed that our drafts have been the worst in 10-year sim history. Uh, it's it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Like, this guy is probably the guy they should have went with. That's a bit of a steal to a team like the Vikings, which is a team I don't like. Running back, Thailand Riley. That's a really good pick, too. Nobody wants to come to our team for a good pick position what I mean, we needed a pass rusher i can't even be mad to the playoffs we made it last season which means we're gonna miss this season i was about to say what did i tell you but we made it 10 and 6 very tough division holy crap a bit of a down season for russell uh chris carson that's it's probably the last of my buddy here he's he's getting a little slow in general i uh, kind of already was like that though amari cooper star devs 96 overall it was a risky investment, but definitely worth it. Uh, superstar Dev still for uh, Reese. What a pick and a half by uh, this team to get him. Defensively, sack totals have just been terrible. Like, they really have been. Uh, Gordon was decent, though. What's his Dev? Quick Dev now. Interesting. Uh, Rod, any Dev up? Not a chance. Marlon Humphrey, that is a quick step. Star? Superstar? I did not really realize he was even that good. I should probably be manually upgrading him, though, because he hasn't upgraded, like, any zone coverage this entire time. I just want one playoff win, and I'll, I'll call it there, you know? That's, I mean, that's cool. It's not going to happen, is it? I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the Seahawks have kind of pained the Packers a little bit in the past, so 
I'm not exactly entirely mad at this entire video. Um, but obviously for content wise, I kind of am. Oh, we need a running back. Big time. Ha Hampton's still here. So is Batten. Uh, offensive line is actually not bad. It really isn't. Reese is an 84 overall. Bobby Wagner, I don't know how much he's costing, but we might need to get rid of him. I'm going on a limb and we're going to say we're going to get better than him. Just for money's sake. If not, Kruger will start. Backup DT's a need. I would say DN, but at the end of the day, we probably have a bit of money tied into everyone. So I'm not going to worry about it. Lattimore, he's 29. Not bad. Chris, what's his name? Kutavides. Uh, he's actually really good. How how the hell is he so good? 92 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 99 everything but route running, uh, 97 jumping, 97 stiff arm. What the hell? I'm actually genuinely shocked. That is easily the best 26-year-old AI made wide receiver I've ever seen. And nobody wants him. I know he's expensive as hell. Don't get me wrong, but he's worth every penny. Wow. I, I've never seen someone that good before. That's that's kind of shocking. Obviously, we want him. And even though we probably don't necessarily need him, he's coming to the team. Obviously, we need to we need to get these beastlies. That guy's a freak. Running back's a big issue. And uh, covers linebacker, I suppose. So, you know what to do, EA. Don't give me any of those possessions. Damn it. All right, simming all the way through the draft. I'm going to need, uh, I don't know, linebacker. Oh, that's actually a good point. <laughs> Running back's probably a big uh, issue. Quick dev, uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's actually really clutch. Linebacker Ryan Frost, and he's, he's okay. Not bad for a late second, actually. DT, not very good. Free safety. Quick dev. Definitely has... Uh, a decent value. Too. Not bad, actually. Pretty pretty solid. We'll probably start that for Oscar, actually, at uh, outside linebacker. We did end up losing Bobby. Kruger has got to be older than 23 at this point. Uh, he's 25. In fairness, it's not that old, but Ryan Frost, left outside linebacker, only one year younger. I mean, I know, obviously, this is quite a bit into the future, but an 88, 89 overall isn't bad. It's not bad. So, I mean, hopefully we can do something with it. The playoffs, 10-6. That's third in the division, though. Joe Mixon with an MVP award. A little bit late into the career, too. Uh, Russell Wilson, 41 touchdowns, 4,800 yards. Really good stuff. Stupar was not very good. I cannot lie to you. I think he got one agility upgrade. Kustafa Days, whatever his name name is. Did he go of him dev? He did go of him dev. I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's a beast already. Reese continuing to hold on to that dev. Great at catching. A little bit lacking... In some of the other stats, though, um, how come they don't really show you much stats, by the way? Oh, his Excel sucks. I didn't even know that. Interesting. Batten, uh, what is his dev? Quick dev. He's 28 now. He's been on the team for a long time. Defensively, anything to be proud of at all. DeBose, all right. Let's 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 take a look at what his dev is. and That could be a decent dev, at least quick. Quick dev, all right. He's not bad. I mean, he worked his way up there. Man, this defense is so highly rated. They just aren't good, though. I know we don't have a new quarterback yet, but might as well just knock that out. No point, too. Point, no point keeping all that. One playoff win, please. That's all I want. Yes. We killed them, too. There we go. Now I want the Super Bowl. I'm greedy. There you go. Going against the Buccaneers. Come on. One more. One more. Oh, Lord. The Super Bowl. And I'll show you guys we did not cheat. We're going to go into this because this is very, uh, this is a very rare sighting. Where the hell? Okay, here we are. Like, like I said, no cheating. So, that's impressive. I'm uh, honestly shocked that this team made the Super Bowl against the Jets. Like I said, I'm coming in here. Kind of get to, you know, get to see what the other teams are like. So, maybe not every team does become really good. 84 overall isn't very good. Looking pretty decent right now. Oops, slow down. Come on, if you can score a touchdown on this drive, we can't. Field goal's good, though, too. Ten minutes left. Defense. Oh, look at the defense clutching up. Tyrone Davison with a huge one. And then Russell decides, hey, it's time to lose the game, buddy. Throws a pick. All you need to do is run the ball. And now you can't run the ball. What is going? What a punt, by the way. Holy crap. And there's a pick. Defense is doing everything it can to win the game. Russell was trying to lose them the game. And there you go. 36-17. to 17. 
I don't, you know, these videos don't have enough time to, to look at the whole thing. We'll take a look at the stats real quick. But that is impressive, especially considering this is easily the worst running back season we've had in the entirety of this thing. Chris Carson was definitely much better than this rookie has been for us. Still win the Super Bowl. I don't get it. I, I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know. I would say maybe they're relying on the passing game more, but that's not true because they're still running the ball a lot. They're just not doing very good. Supar did get to like an 86, 87 overall though. Resign period. Obviously, that's nothing we have to worry about. We win a Super Bowl though. I like it. Uh, offense. We might be able to just barely hold on to the rest of the team for the rest of this thing. We'll see, though. Uh, defense, Shaquem, he's definitely getting there. Uh, 31 years of age, normal dev. He's still really beastly, though, just because he's fast. Cesario, I don't even know who the hell this is. Was it one of the, it must have been one of, like, the third round guys that we had a while back. Lane Vander Esch, what's his dev? Quick dev, he's 29, obviously with 29 years of age. Wow, 96 Excel. He's so freakly. If I mean, if you can get really lucky with Layton and just get a couple of speed upgrades, he'll be like the best linebacker you can ever have. Jamal Rogers, the wide receiver. Really fast. I like that. Uh, Antoine Kalou, don't need you. Uh, I would like that Rogers guy. We'll see uh, what Amari is looking like for money because at one point he was getting paid like, was it 25 mil? So if he's, uh, if he's still getting paid 25 mil, I should probably get rid of him. He's played really well for us, though, so I'd kind of feel weird, too. And they just tagged him, it appears. Or not even tagged him. He's just uh, running through his contract. Let's go to the draft because I don't like any of that. However, we do have pick 32, so I'm not exactly sure what I expect to get here. Uh, 91 overall is nice, though. O-line could always be upgraded. Uh, DT, maybe? I don't know. Like We're at a point where we have a lot of old players, but... There's no immediate starters we can grab. By the way, did Tariq Cohen hit free agency? I'm not really liking the the look so far, boys. I'm just saying. Rennell Hunter, he's 22. I'm going to put him on the list just because I don't like anyone else here. Man, these drafts are actually kind of bad. Maybe that's why the AI does really poorly. I know it's pick 32, but Jesus, this is terrible. Honestly, I didn't. I mean, I looked through the whole thing, and I don't even think a single player was good. Maybe the DT we got has good dev, though. 77 overall, normal dev. Eh, trusty. I seen him, and I was gonna actually take him with the first pick. He's good. He's but he's a bit raw. Barry Riles, yikes. Yeah, this is just a bad class. Like, I really don't know what the hell you could have done here. I would have just traded down, but I, I feel like it's cheesy. Let me know. Should I go really full out into these? Like. Should I just cheese the hell out of it? Like, if I make rules, I can bend. Not really bend them, but, like, if I draft somebody, or not even draft somebody, but I can't draft, but I'm going to trade down because all the players look like crap. Like, should I just go full out on these? I want to know. Enoch Miller, was that the best speed guy and all that? Because he was pretty good. A little bit on the older side, but he's definitely worth the pick. Um, Looking around here, I don't really like what I'm seeing, so... Unless you were going running back this draft, you probably weren't getting anything outside of the top 20. This is really bad. Like, it's usually pretty bad, but this is atrocious. Curtis Chapman, I mean, there's just, I mean, that guy's good, but even him, he's normal dev. He really can't get much out of that. We're on to our last season of being able to uh, improve the team, I suppose. Ryan Flores, I mean, there's no one really there that's going to help us. So where are we at? 91, 92 overall? 91 overall. Hopefully, we can keep most of this team intact for at least a, another season after this one as well. Linebacker really took a bit of a, a, a hit. Cornerback is probably the best uh, next up, I'd suppose. Burns, he's 28. He's been on the team for a while. He's a beast. But his time is coming to an end here. We didn't even get much worse, yet after a Super Bowl win, we apparently didn't do enough to become that team again. How many times does a team, like, not at least make the playoffs after making a Super Bowl trip. Seven and nine. I mean, Russell killed it, and we still went seven and nine. Stupar did better. I mean, we had like almost 60 touchdowns on offense. How the hell did we not make the playoffs? Kudavides is absolutely insane, by the way. Like, he is he's the best receiver ever. Like, he's ridiculous. I don't know who the hell in this league is better than him, where he's ranked number two. Reese just dropped down Dev. It's been a lot higher than he probably should have been for years now. Um, look at the sack totals. Like what? It, like we're in a base four three. Seattle defense must just be like cancerous. Like it just must be terrible. I'm gonna go with like I don't know what team usually gets a lot of sacks. 
Let's go with uh, let's go with the Chargers, I suppose. Like I said, basically the last season to upgrade the team, so we're gonna have two choices here. Uh, once again, it's gonna come down to who the Vikings win a Super Bowl, right? It's gonna come down to who's uh, gone on the team. We lost three overalls, so Batten left. That kind of sucks. Uh, Cooper's terrible. What's his what's his price on his head? We're, we're gonna have to keep him. So that's our number three at least. Defensively, uh, Burns. I thought it said 70, uh, 87. I was like, what? Uh, but I like where we're at still. It's just, I think we need to revamp a little bit, maybe reload. Uh, we actually should take a look at the money, though. Charleston. Kind of sucks. It's not really looking like a very promising play, uh, class of players here. Yeah, this is looking kind of rough. Holy crap. How much did we pay him? We paid Layton a ton of money. He's been sick, though, so I can't really be mad. And we lost our center as well. I think we just... Honestly, I can't even blame the team. I think we just went broke. Kid you not. I think we literally just ran out of money. I'm just going to draft, I guess. There's really not much we can do. We kind of left this team in shambles as well. But guess what? We won a Super Bowl. That's all that matters. And it kind of is true. I mean, at the end of the day, what's the goal? The Super Bowl. So even if you kind of suck the next season... You made a Super Bowl. That's all that matters. I feel like you have a good five-year window after winning the Super Bowl. I know, obviously, you're kind of thinking, hey, we just won the Super Bowl. Uh, let's kind of win another one or two in the next five years. But at least you have that leniency where it's like, ah, eh, fair enough. We did do pretty damn well. Can't really complain. Uh, we have ourselves a cornerback right here. And I know I said cornerback because I meant it. He's going to get away this time. Reeves. Oh, lads. So I think we're going to make a trade up. I'm going to allow it. Gross, gross, whatever. Uh, I suppose to go number one. Very good player. He's probably going to play corner for us. We need to get to that middle linebacker if we can. I don't know what I want to get rid of, though, to get there. Conte, wow, really? Ah, oh, Reeves, man. Really, the Lions? I mean, they kind of needed him in fairness, but they really had to do that to me. Do I really want to go for a, 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 a skipper? The old skipperoo? I think we probably will actually trade up for him anyways. Depends. Depends if there's anyone around here. Not going to lie. Them taking that guy was pretty, pretty school, man. Pretty school. Guys, I'm going to take a reach here. This guy's a little slow and he's always normal, but got to take it. I'm, I'm desperate and there was literally nothing there. Really nothing at all. So let's end the draft. This could be like kind of a, like a lackluster finish, but we won a Super Bowl. So what do you want from me? You know, Russell gets another ring. A little bit late, but... It is what it is. A win is a win. I don't care. If I'm a fan, I'd be happy. Like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, everyone everyone thinks their team's going to be that team that can win three in the next ten years or something. But at the end of the day, end of the day that's obviously not usually the case. So winning one or two is definitely pretty cool. Well, here's the last look at the team going in. Uh, do we have any backups that can start? So I think we can put Jurovic at left tackle. Linemen are really hard to develop. Like, I have almost all the sliders up to 180% or higher. Uh, nothing anything over 200, though. But maybe I need to start doing that. Wide receiver, definitely on the decline. Probably should have uh, looked to replace someone there. Uh, this is a new guy as well, so that's, that's kind of saddening. Uh, 88 overall. I mean, if it wasn't good enough in last season with a 91, I can't imagine it being much better this year. Uh, gross, gross, whatever. Going to play him at cornerback. It's kind of what we drafted him for. Here is our last chance. And we make it with a bye week. Okay, the, div the division was terrible. We could have made it at 8-8. Eight and eight. So, yeah, that just because of the way they played was enough for us. I, I guess, to be fair, a couple of the wins we had might have changed the scaling a little bit. Stupar, he is very underwhelming so far. Hasn't even hit 1,000 yards yet. Kudavide is superstar dev. Such a freak, man. He's so good. How could any team ever let him go? I don't know what team he played for, and I don't know if I can figure that out. I don't think it tells you what team they played for. So the last three seasons with us were insane. The first four were terrible. Whoever he... I don't know who he went to. Uh, six years in the league. He's 28. I mean, that's not terrible aging, so... What a freak. Easily the best receiver ever. Probably in the title. Ryan Frost with an insane one. He's a star dev now. I mean, I guess it's it's weird the way this thing has went, considering 
I, uh, I put us in a base 4-3, so I'm not sure how much blitzing we're doing, but the answer may be quite a lot. So let's advance one week. Could make a last second push into the Super Bowl again. 91 overall, just like the season we did it, I believe. Uh, defensively, Frost still not a great overall. Gross did a damn good job of being a cornerback. My mans, the Packers would be proud. Oh, here we go. We need a game. If we win this one, we're in the Super Bowl again. Oh, and it's against the Jets. I got to show you guys we didn't cheat again. This sad little roster we've created could end up becoming our best 10-year sim slash rebuild we've had yet. I can't believe that. That's that's ridiculous to me. Oh, no, no, no. That's what we're doing. They're an 82 over. How the hell are they winning games, man? Starting off, Jets score three. We get down the field slowly, but we do score seven. The overall difference is huge, but you know in EA, that's it's not as huge as you think. We've had much worse. Uh, start of the second half, defense is really the one killing it. However, they do give up seven there. Start of the fourth, we're up ten. I mean, this is obviously in our favor at the moment. That's a huge mistake on defense. They're getting down the field really slowly, but getting down the field in general is all that matters for them, and this is a huge play. That was the difference between potentially winning this game and losing the game. But I'm fourth and four. They missed the field goal. You motherfucker. Are you serious? And that's a tie game at 27. Come on. There you go. Get down that field slowly, Russell. Just don't throw a pick, man. This is clutch. This is actually a Super Bowl win, isn't it? It was a touchdown as well. That might be the clutchest drive in Super Bowl history. They wasted almost the entirety of the clock to get a touchdown with slow little plays. Patriots our way down the field. And the Seahawks win two Super Bowls in a span of 10 years. I mean, that's that's success. What is that? It's three Super Bowl rings for Russell Wilson? That's good. Russell Wilson basically becomes one of the all-time, specifically considering the, uh, the roster carry by him, basically. That wide receiver, in you know the terms of being just an absolute stud, even though he didn't really play well in the playoffs, he's one of the great all times as well. He's he's kind of beastly. Uh, obviously, he has, to, he has to kind of play another three or four years to actually make the Hall of Fame. But when it comes to team history, he'd definitely be one of those guys. Two Super Bowl wins over the Jets. Sorry, Jets fans, but hey, if you guys make two Super Bowls, even if you lose them, that'd be pretty cool. I I mean I would I take it from Rodgers. I don't know. Up the butt, probably what? Um, but yeah, I mean, this was actually somehow pretty damn successful. I don't, I don't get how, I don't know why. The team was okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do kind of hype up the fact that with the slider, it seems like every team's like a 99 overall, but they're really not. You know, a lot of teams are kind of rough, but I don't know. This is probably like a at best top 10 in this league roster. Russell Wilson's the go. I don't know what to tell you. He's not even great in sim. I, I just don't get it. I mean, I know Amari Cooper was here, but an 83 overall number two was our guy. I mean, I'm going to say Reese is the reason. He's down a quick dev. He's 29 now. He's he's a bit old, but he's a beast. Star dev apparently isn't everything that matters in life, but he was good enough. And uh, hell of a 10-year hell of sim slash rebuild. Congrats, Seahawks fans, I suppose. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe follow me on Twitter at DrumpyCare. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what team we should do next. I will actually pull up the list while talking here. It's not going to be that long anyways. If you have any other, you know, video suggestions, let me know. Uh, the teams we're missing are Dolphins, Bills, Ravens, Broncos, Redskins, Lions, and Cardinals. So there you go. A lot of a lot of rough teams there. I feel like we did the Lions, no? I'll, I'll have to take a look and make sure. But we're down to, what, seven teams here? We're getting close. So another two months, <laughs> basically. We might do a double in a week. Who knows? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!